Good morning and welcome to an all new Eye of the Tiger. I'm Ryan Collins. And I'm Gigi Pagel. This past Wednesday was High School on the Hill night. We go to Connor Baker with more. Thanks guys. I'm here at High School on the Hill night where the programs of RHS are here to show 8th graders what Roseville's made of. Do you think showing off the programs we have here at Roseville really helps them show us what, experience, what they're going to experience coming here? Absolutely. I think uh, Eye of the Tiger is a great example of one of our electives that uh, kids, uh, they can, until they're in that studio, they don't just see how, how amazing it actually can be. Our culinary programs, a lot of our electives, and then our academic teachers putting on a really great show for us here tonight, too. Uh, I think it really gives our incoming Tigers a chance to see what this is all about. I'm here with Chef Tate, representing the culinary department. What's been your favorite part of High School on the Hill night? Uh, well, definitely meeting all the people. Um, everyone's excited to be here. Everyone's loving the crepes we're making, so that's nice. Um, and just such a great energy on campus. I really like that. And what would you say to encourage kids to take culinary? Uh, it's amazing. It's fun. You get to eat food twice a week or three times a week. Um, you get to move around. It's not like any other class that you will take in school and um, it'll teach you things you can use for your whole life. I'm here with my friends Tanner and Alex here. What has been your guys' favorite part of High School on the Hill night? Uh, most definitely meeting the new 8th uh, graders willing to get out here and try new sports. Yeah, I have to say the same thing with that. It's nice seeing the next generations of, well, potential runners and the next generation of students. And would you guys say it's a good idea for people who are even already students here to come and check out everything? Oh, most definitely, because I've had a lot of uh, freshmen come around who's uh, still on the fence about uh, track and field and some other sports as well, and I'm like, hey, it's a great guy here, meet new people, and uh, like seek uh, like athletic anything with them. And now we go back to news. Thanks, Connor. And now we go to Joseph Bianchini with sports. Good morning. Welcome to this Friday's edition of EOTSN. I'm Joseph Bianchini. As we briefly mentioned on Tuesday, overbreak the girls' basketball team saw a coaching change. Michael Muick, the varsity football defensive coordinator, steps in as the head coach after previous coach Ron Earp stepped down over Thanksgiving break. I really like him. I have heard a lot of rumors about why our other coach left, so um, I wasn't really sure going into it, but um, I don't know. Uh, he came in. Um, without him, we probably wouldn't have a Roseville High School girls basketball program, so I'm thankful about that. He honestly, like, like kind of made us all work together a lot more than our other coach did, and he actually brought more girls out, which is better for our team, and he's a really good coach. The girls' basketball team currently stands at 0-2, but haven't started the all-important league play yet, which they will on January 3rd. In other sports news, winter sports are hitting their stride, and there's quite a bit of action coming up. Here's what we got going on for the next few days. Today, boys' soccer is at home versus Del Oro, and wrestling girls have a tournament in Porterville. Tomorrow, the same wrestling girls continue their tournament, and boys' wrestlers have the Granite Bay Invitational. And fast forward to Monday, where girls' basketball goes on the road to East Union. And finally, before we go, we have a big announcement. In the EOTSN outro, we always talk about top plays, but we've kind of been lacking in that department. Now, that changes. Starting next week, we are starting a Top Plays of the Week segment, and the plays will be submitted by the audience, you guys. If you are a winter sports athlete or go to a winter sports game and have a top play, go to the link in our Instagram and Twitter bios at EOT Sports. There will be a Google form where you can submit a top play to be featured on broadcast. All you have to do is add the athlete's name in the play, specify what sport it is, and then link the video of the top play for us to feature on a future broadcast. We look forward to getting some dope clips from basketball, soccer, and wrestling, and spring sports when they come around. And that's all in your home for Roseville High School sports, top plays, breakdowns, and more. I the Tiger Sports Network. UTSN. And now we go over to entertain. Thanks, Joseph. Strange World was released in theaters last Wednesday and is by far one of the best Disney movies that they have released. With Disney's recent movies for both live action and animated, they haven't been the best to watch, making fans a little disappointed in them. Luckily, this film seems to be a rare exception and gives a bit of hope for the future of Disney films. There is a simple plot about a group of people having to explore a world below theirs in order to save their town but Disney had made it so intriguing that it had me interested throughout the whole movie. Our entire world is in grave danger. I want you to come with me on an expedition. There were great visuals, including the bright and soft colors of the two worlds, which made it more enjoyable to watch. There were also unique characters and a plot twist that wasn't expected but made the movie a hundred times better. 
It was upsetting that Strange World wasn't really advertised a lot by Disney because even though they don't make movies that focus on unique storylines of individual characters, this was worth it all. Def Disney definitely should have done a better job in the marketing department. This was a great movie compared to recent ones because although it focused on bringing a family together, it showed how the characters weren't perfect and how they each had flaws that made them different from one another. Grandpa's awesome! He is not awesome! You gave me a machete for my birthday? <laughs> Classic Jaeger claimed. <laughs> I was too. This is the type of movie everyone should see in theaters. And now we go back to news. Thanks, Victoria. Over the past couple of years, an RHS student has developed a love for photography. We go to Zoe Light with more. Junior Tiffany Ploward has been around photography her whole life and has always had the passion for it. Um, I started doing photography when I was really little because my mom was a photographer and I just always like liked to do what she liked and um, it it was just something really fun for me to do like as a young kid. Living in California, there are plenty of beautiful sights for Ploward to capture, but there are some places that she loves. Um, my favorite place to take photos is probably like up in uh, Northern California because I just love nature and like in NorCal there's a lot of trees and the like landscape in the area is so pretty and that, that's just probably where I like to take photos. Um, and going up to like Fort Bragg, it's like a four hour drive, so there's a lot of stuff that I can see or like new things to capture. Flower do you use photography as a way for her to really remember special events and memories that she captures? Um, I wanted to start doing photography because like doing photography helped me capture the moment and like I always love to look back at my old pictures and remember like the moment or like the people that I was with and it just it helps me like point out the beauty in a like scene or in a scenario that um, that a lot of people normally wouldn't be able to see like unless it was pointed out. With some special requests coming in from friends and family, Ploward has made a little bit of money from her hobby. I have sold my pictures um, a couple times. Some of my friends wanted me to do like car photography for them, and then another time I was a wedding photographer, and um, those are like the only times I've ever sold them, but normally I just like to do it like for fun or for my friends. Thanks, Zoe. That's it for us today on Eye of the Tiger. And remember, we're always on eyeofthetigernews.com. See you next time.